and welcome to everyone to this uh, first webinar that we do on finance for resilience. Uh, we're excited to be here. Um, we will be focusing, as Dan said, uh, the webinar uh, particularly on the third phase of FIRE of this initiative and on the call for ideas that we have just launched and which will be the basis for its success in 2016. And so as you can see here on the overview of today's webinar, we're going to briefly tell you more about the initiative and its process. Uh, we're going to clarify what types of ideas we're looking for um, during the call for ideas, this is, uh, which is open now till the end of the year. And uh, we're going to identify the benefits uh, for you or, or your colleagues to submit um, to this call for ideas. And then last but not least, we're going to walk you through the details of how to submit an idea to FIRE. But let, let me first start a little bit with why are we doing that and why do we need a FIRE, an, an initiative like FIRE. And here, um, obviously, we are actually going back to the overall challenge of um, investment and how where we are compared to the overall needs um, in investing in climate change in order to get us on a low carbon climate resilient pathway. So what, if we look at the figures, we can see that after leveling off in 2012 and declining in 2013, the latest numbers show that uh, the amount of climate finance investment invested around the world in 2014 increased by 18%. And it's now from that 331 billion US dollars that you can see uh, on the slide there at an estimated 391 uh, billion US dollars. Nonetheless, uh, this is short of what is needed. And a recent IEA study estimates at about 16.5 trillion US dollars is needed by 2013 to render the energy sector alone low carbon. And so, which is about a trillion a year required in order to get the energy sector on the right pathway. And that's not to mention the financing needed for making the society and the economy resilient to climate impacts and maintaining biodiversity. If we look at the overall 391 billion US dollars that were invested in 2014, we can see that private finance constituted about 62% of the overall global flows. And we know that untapping some of the private capital pools that are currently at the margins of climate finance will be really critical in order for us to, to bridge and to close the financing gap that we see. So FIRE is all about getting private financing flowing. On this slide, you um, see a little bit um, the, the overall motivation and the really kind of vision of FIRE. And FIRE serves as a platform to meet the investment challenge. It aims at identifying, launching, and helping scale up powerful new ideas to accelerate investments in clean energy, climate resilience, and a sustainable green growth economy. FIRE is now supported by Bloomberg Philanthropies. And in fact, Michael Bloomberg himself recognizes the need to specifically rally new ideas for us to collectively make the most out of the opportunities a shift to clean climate resilient growth will entail. Just a little bit more about um, where Finance for Resilience came from. Fi uh, Finance for Resilience of Fire was initiated, initiated and developed by Bloomberg New Energy Finance, BNEF, and has its origins as an initiative of Michael Liebreich, who is the chairman of the advisory board of BNEF, and who is still the chairman of also FIRE's advisory board. The aim of the initiative was to establish an open source platform to identify, catalyze, and help scale up powerful new ideas to accelerate interventions. Uh, the FIRE process has a global scope, and it does focus on private sector-led instruments and champions. And we've had the now um, two iterations in 2014 and 2015, um, and we will look a little bit later at the winners of these in a round. Now, in its um, new phase of growth, FIRE is driven and led by climate policy initiative with funding from Bloomberg Philanthropies and in-kind contributions from BNF to ensure consistency. And so in this phase, we are looking into going beyond clean energy focus to also include climate resilience, sustainability in green growth, and learning also from another in initiative that CPI is managing which is the Global Innovation Lab for Climate Finance. On this slide, in fact, you can see a little bit um, how the two initiative, initiatives, uh, FIRE and the lab, 
are, are interrelated, they are linked, but there are separate um, initiatives. And there are, in fact, um, two specific initiatives that have emerged to uh, look at innovative new approaches to blend public and private resources and to catalyze private investments in climate-friendly projects. And in this way, helping to provide concrete solutions to financing challenges faced by projects and by real investors. If you look at the left hand side, which describes um, FIRE a little bit more in depth, uh, the FIRE initiative, uh, which was launched and incubated by BNF, aims to accelerate the development of new tools for financing of clean energy and other climate solutions worldwide. On the other hand, um, the Global Innovation Lab for Climate Finance is supported by several donor governments uh, in partnership with key private sectors and um, sector representatives, and it's managed uh, by CPI since the beginning. And the lab aims to fast track the development of promising ideas to implementation ready projects that address investor and recipient country needs, driving in this way uh, billions of new uh, private sector money into climate change mitigation and adaptation in developing countries. Both initiatives share a common goal to identify climate finance solutions and to help them reach scales. They're both open source platforms and both aim to find new ideas to catalyze investments. But where the FIRE process is broad, uh, broad in scope and focuses on private sector-led instruments and champions, the lab is focused on instruments more likely to need public finance or public finance institutions to catalyze private finance, and that especially in developing and emerging economies. In terms of the process in which we will go in detail uh, very shortly, the two initiatives um, differ in the following way. The lab has a stronger focus on in-depth stress testing and analysis that will lead to pilots of ideas. And FIRE instead is centered around presenting ideas to the finance community at PNEF events and summits and utilizing the FIRE network to support and mentor ideas into fruition. FIRE and the lab have early on realized their complementarities and synergies, synergies and the potential to increase their respective impact through coordination. And in fact, the lab has taken forward ideas pioneered and initially crowdsourced by FIRE, and CPI has, fire, uh, has partnered with um, BNF to get support in the initial analytical phase of the lab. Both FIRE and the lab have coordinated on idea submissions, drawing on each other's networks and thereby increasing the reach of the respective processes. So bringing the two initiatives together on the one centralized team at CPI and running a streamlined process has obvious benefits, and we are very excited about uh, this possibility. Just uh, in a nutshell, uh, what is the process that FIRE is running through? Uh, FIRE runs in annual cycles. It's in, divided into three phases, and we're currently in the first phase of the third FIRE cycle, focusing on the crowdsourcing of ideas. So you can see here on the left hand side of this graph um, that we have launched in November, in the beginning of November, the call for ideas. Uh, the fire team now crowdsources the most promising interventions and will provide rounds of feedback to the champions during the pre-selection to maximize their chances of success. This is a very structured process where the champions or proponents of the idea with the guidance of fire experts will turn their ideas into strong, actionable interventions. And you'll hear about how to do that um, uh, very shortly. The call for ideas closes on the 31st of December 2015. And we very much hope that you will be considering submitting your ideas uh, to this call. In February, the FIRE team selects and adopts 24 interventions from all submissions through an initial screening based on a set of criteria, which again will be outlined shortly. And these 24 interventions are then reviewed by the FIRE's a newly reconstituted advisory board. And that will happen at the end of February, beginning of March. And at that process, then, there will be the eight um, finalists that will be uh, selected and invited to present their proposals at the BNF Summit in New York in April 2016. At the summit, uh, the audience, uh, which includes top-level energy and finance sector leaders, will vote in real time to identify the four FIRE winners from the eight finalists. And then the final and um, third phase of um, each annual FIRE cycle regards implementation and monitoring, and, and is actually a very important phase on which we will hope 
and to, to, to emphasize much more how we can actually make that a successful and um, you know, lead into the real piloting of instruments. After the BNF summit, in fact, the winners, winners will implement their ideas and the fire team will provide support and monitor the progress and measure the success. And the successful interventions will gain exposure, analytical support, and access to a wide range of high level experts. And winners will also have access to BNF data and insight and will benefit from bespoke analytical support of the Secretariat. Very briefly, before we go into some of the integrity of the process, uh, what are the roles of the different actors in FIRE and what is it that, uh, how is it that the champions who submit ideas actually receive support? You can see on this graph here that FIRE is overseen by an advisory board of funders um, and high level experts in the field of financial markets, climate finance and green growth. And you'll see a list of the current advisor boards um, in a second on, on the next slide. The advisory board oversees the work of the Secretariat and members provide guidance on the strategic direction of the initiative and help pre-select the eight finalists, um, as just um, discussed. The Secretariat of FIRE is composed of um, climate policy initiative staff and they coordinate administration, convening and communications activities throughout the FIRE process. For each intervention, the secretary provides analytical feedback and review to champions of each idea as it is submitted in the call for ideas, as well as specific analytics to fire winners to support their implementation. And this also entails monitoring and knowledge sharing of fire winners as they progress to realizing their milestones. The fire champions uh, spearhead their proposed idea to raise finance for clean energy, climate sustainability, or green growth. And that means developing the idea into an actionable intervention, liaising with um, the working group and coaches to conduct analysis, filling in the FIRE template and improving the analysis in collaboration with the FIRE team. And as also already said before, the FIRE champions will also present uh, their intervention at the PNEAC summit. Just very briefly on this, the network, the broad and FIRE network, and um, that um, allows actually champions um, to to receive support on depending on the, the roles of the network actors throughout the process uh, of the annual cycle. And we in fact have coaches that are involved in refining the intervention while working group members uh, and PNF mentors help winners realize their interventions after the summit. So you really have uh, constant support to uh, the champions and their ideas realization throughout the whole process of, um, of FIRE. Instead, let me just um, give you an overview of the current um, reconstituted uh, FIRE Advisory Board. Um, the chairman of the FIRE Advisory Board is Michael Liebrecht, who is also the founder of, of FIRE, which obviously uh, ensures the consistency uh, of previous, uh, uh, previous rounds of FIRE and makes sure that we really learn from the success and the impact that FIRE has had. But from that, we have a very high level um, range of experts that are have accepted the invitation to be part of the advisory board and who are guiding us already now in the um, strategic direction of the new fire phase. With this, I'm going to hand over to my colleague Patrick in order to um, walk you a little bit more through the benefits of um, to participation uh, in the fire process. Thank you, Barbara. Um, so I will discuss quickly how to submit your idea to FIRE and what we are looking for. But first, it is useful perhaps to start with why you should participate in FIRE in the first place. Uh, FIRE is an excellent platform to develop and promote your financial innovation. The champions of an idea work with the FIRE team to, to develop them into an actionable intervention and are being coached by senior finance experts. Finalists present at the BNF Summit in New York and gain public exposure and engagement with the Summit Network and winners implement their idea after the Summit with the support from the FIRE team, mentoring from BNF topic experts and access to the BNF news and database. So FIRE overall is a great opportunity to develop, engage and raise the profile for your particular financial innovation. 
Fire supports a broad range of interventions. As Barbara mentioned, this year we have a mandate to go beyond just clean energy, but also include accelerating investments in climate finance, sustainability, and green growth in general. And in that way, ideas can relate to, for example, some of the most recent trends that are currently out there in this space, including, for example, cities and their sustainable development, whether that be in transportation buildings or urban living. Uh, ideas to strengthen a sustainable financial system, for example, through investor oriented actions or principled approaches. Improving resilience and adaptation to climate impacts is a particular area that can require investments as well as managing climate risks on behalf of investors and other actors. And with a third of potential emission reductions to a two degree pathway originating in energy efficiency, this is always a welcome theme. But in general, FIRE is not prescriptive in its call for interventions in order to avail of the most innovative, outside-the-box thinking that is out there. Regardless of the type of the financial innovative idea, uh, we are looking for ones that fit a common set of criteria. So if you're interested, it's good to keep these uh, criteria in mind in your submission. Obviously, they must have a focus on clean energy, climate, sustainability, or green growth, and they must show the potential for catalyzing significant flows for these purposes within one to, two, one to three years. Note that we don't put a quantitative hurdle on what are significant financial flows, as, as, as it is a very much a context-driven amount, but the Fire Advisory Board will be looking for the potential to unlock new flows in particular. Champions proposing the idea are private sector or private sector orientated. For example, academics, uh, civil society or industry associations who have a track record of working with the private sector. Champions should also be willing to spearhead the development of an intervention and its implementation post the fire process. In this regard, then, they should also show it is an actionable intervention in the form of presenting tangible milestones laid out for the first 12 months. And finally, also show that they have thought about how best they can use the fire support and network to help realize their intervention. We focus here on some of the fire winners from 2014 and 2015 to give you an example of the existing uh, ideas and interventions that have benefited from the fire process and then who have met this criteria. The debt fund for prepaid energy access was uh, championed by Azuri Technologies, uh, proposing a, a, an innovative um, financial structure to attract debt finance for pay-as-you-go uh, solar providers in Africa and developing countries in general. Uh, Azuri have introduced the pay-as-you-go solar system in Ghana, and over the next two years, they hope to bring solar power, uh, solar power to 100,000 off-grid uh, households in Ghana. The Business Renewable Centre, uh, championed by the Rocky Mountain Institute, was proposed to act as a one-stop shop for corporations with clean energy commitments. It's since been launched in February 2015 and now has 38 corporations and project developers as members. The carbon count for green bonds was championed by the Alliance to Save Energy in 2015, and it was providing a consistent quantitative measure of avoided carbon emissions per dollar of, of investment. The carbon count methodology is now fully operational, having been used to certify carbon re reductions of a $120 million green bond offering completed by Hannon Armstrong earlier this year. Finally, the Global Solar Lease Financing, championed by Resource Mobilization Advisors, was targeted at taking many of the lessons and best practices identified in developed markets, particularly in the US, around uh, developing financing approaches for distributed solar in developing countries. So those expressing an interest to submit an idea will receive a common template from the FIRE team to fill out ahead of the submission deadline. 
We'll quickly go through it here, but it's a, it is important to note that we here at the fire team will be on hand to answer questions and help you improve your submission ahead of the deadline. So it is good to get it in early as possible. The opening slide covers uh, initially a brief one paragraph summary of the what, the where, the who, the why, and the how of the intervention, or in other words, the nuts and the bolts of, of, of everything regarding it. It will also cover some straightforward answers on the status and the target areas in terms of investor types, the sectors and markets that the intervention is looking at. The second slide of the submission template, uh, in it we are looking for a clear problem solution linkage. You can discuss the barriers that you are addressing in some detail and particularly what is the issue with existing approaches to these barriers that is not currently good enough or at operating at too small a scale to scale up and flow significantly. In the solution presented, we are not looking for any more justification of why this is a good idea, but more about the detailed workings of it step by step. Finally, in the bottom left, it is good to list out who's involved, what organizations and stakeholder groups are currently required to participate in the intervention to make it work. And then finally, the last slide of the submission template is like a dashboard overview of the impact and the planning of the intervention. Firstly, on the top left, it is good for you to list what you would like to receive from the fire process and also what new finance do you think your idea can raise and within what time frame can it be up and running. Submitters often use their own calculations for an X amount of finance raised by an X amount of clients or adopters of the intervention or idea participating. Below this is about the scaled up transformative or catalytic impact of the intervention, comparing the current market size of financial flows in the target area with the potential on an overall and on an annual basis. Submitters here often refer to market reports and scenarios from BNEF or the IEA or other groups to justify these metrics. Finally, on the right, there is the actionability section where we are looking for an appreciation of the risks and the pitfalls that make it difficult for you to realize the intervention, any interest received to date from stakeholders, and finally, a list of milestones timed and assigned to particular members of the team or your stakeholder grouping uh, over the next at least 12 months or perhaps longer. So that is our run through of the call for ideas process. Uh, please do get involved. There is indeed more than one way to get involved, uh, not only as a champion of an idea, but also as a coach or a working group member. Fire coaches are assigned to a number of interventions based on their experience and expertise. They assist the champions and their working groups with in-depth analysis of the potential impact of their idea and they contribute to the content of the submission template and provide general support to improve the final proposal. They also help in the implementation of chosen interventions after the BNEF summit winners are announced. Meanwhile, working group members assist um, winners in the implementation process itself. This involves joining conference calls set up by the fire champion and providing written feedback to early proposals. The role of a working group member like a coach is flexible and the time commitment can vary based on prior agreement with the champions. So please uh, let us know any questions on the box on the right. Um, our, de our contact details are, are available here and there is also a lot of material on the FIRE website. Thanks very much, Padraig. Thank you, Barbara, for the presentation. We're going to pause, uh, excuse, excuse us for the radio silence, but we're going to pause very briefly now just to review the questions, encourage you to write more questions into that chat box into the bottom right-hand corner, and we will be back with you broadcasting live from Venice in about um, one minute's time.
<laughs> Hello. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, for the questions, everybody. Um, Patrick and Barbara will we'll get to those now. Yes, many thanks from our side here. So let me just start, Claudia, with your question on how much the financing gap was ex uh, exactly according to, to FIRE. Uh, and actually, the, the figures that I've been mentioning um, are related to a very recent publication that CPI has um, and just uh, published um, uh, last week. And that shows that uh, in overall, we have a 391 billion US dollars of global climate finance uh, flows in 2014. And uh, the third, uh, the best estimate of what's needed, however, indicate that we need trillions to stay on a two degree, bar, degree pathway, meaning that we fall far short. And that is estimates that uh, we have not been doing ourselves, but we are relying on other organizations' estimates here. And the most recent one in that context is an, an international energy agency um, publication that shows that about 16.5 a trillion US dollars are needed to render the energy sector low and low carbon uh, by 2030. So that's about a trillion um, a year that, that we know is needed to just getting the energy sector on a low carbon pathway. And obviously, we do need more in order to, to render societies and, and communities uh, resilient as well. So um, again, we, while we, are, we can see that more than ever float uh, in terms of climate finance in 2014, it continues to be clear that more finance is needed to put the world uh, on the goals path that's consistent with limiting climate change to two degrees. So this is why we say it's, um, it's uh, good signals, but initiatives like FIRE or its sister initiative, the Global Innovation Lab for Climate Finance, can help to come up with innovative approaches to really can find concrete solutions of scaling up uh, climate investments. Okay, uh, I'll take the question from uh, Mariana. Uh, is there a place where one can check all ideas that have already been submitted at previous calls but have not won? Uh, yes, indeed. Um, on the FIRE website, uh, www.financeforresilience.com, there are uh, two sections, two pages each, for the um, FIRE 2015 and FIRE 2014 processes. And on those pages, you can download uh, the link to the FIRE book for that year which has the 24 uh, interventions that would have been uh, shortlisted for uh, consideration for the pre-selection committee. So that is where the advisory board looks at these 24 and they pick uh, the eight that they would like to present at the BNEF summit um, around February time. And so you can see uh, those fire books for, for each year. Um, I'll also then take a look at uh, Fred Ball's question. Is it acceptable to submit a draft version for early review with the ability to modify the submission before the deadline? Absolutely. Um, this is part of the reason why we, we ask people to send us an expression of interest. We want to create this communication flow early so that we can help you refine and uh, develop your submission before the deadline of, of, of the 31st of, of December. Um, so please let us know uh, as soon as possible and we can start helping you with that. Great. And maybe just a clarification, Mahfucha, um, great to have you on the webinar again. Uh, just, just to say, because you did say that FIRE focus on private sector-led interventions in developing countries, that's, um, uh, that is just to clarify, actually, FIRE focuses both on developed and developing countries. And um, But it is really, you know, contrary to the Global Innovation Lab for Climate Finance, it is focusing on a private sector-led intervention. So uh, thanks for your comment and we look forward to your submission. And um, to Claudia's point also, uh, the webinar is being recorded and it will be available on both the FIRE and the CPI websites within three business days. So you will receive an email with the link when it's available. So we have another question here from uh, Fred Ball. Can you post a link to the IA study used? Um, there's a link. Well, I, in, in that reference, we were mentioning, depending on the intervention or the, or the idea that, that is being championed or being pre presented, people use different justifications for the potential market size that their idea is targeting or, or, or can leverage or can mobilize or catalyze. Um, and so there are many different types of market reports out there that, that show the, the opportunity or the investment potential in these particular areas. 
Um, if you do look at the fire books from 2014 and 2015, you can see how some of the ideas use these um, existing reports and literature out there in that regard. Um, but there isn't any particular one publication or one book that has these numbers for all different types of ideas that might be out there. We're looking for you to see if you can find any potential market size figures. Um, and if not, let us know and, and we can try to help you out. And if you were referring, um, Mr. Ball, to the IEA figure that Barbara was talking about, the reference to that is in the Global Landscape for Climate Finance 2015 report. It's uh, it's an IEA figure from this year. So yeah, it's uh, a special special report uh, on energy and climate change. But we can well, we can try to to post the the link here. It is in the in the landscape report. Padraig, do you want to take the uh, the question from Phoebe Lewis? She's asking, uh, to what extent is there funding available for the winning projects in addition to the other forms of support given? Um, this very much depends on on the on the status of the idea and the, and the intervention. There's no money available per se in the fire uh, process or program for all of the ideas themselves that win uh, or or that come through the process. But part of the process and indeed the added benefit or the value add of participating in FIRE is that through the network and through the profile gain that the summits and the community that all, uh, often attends the summits, as well as the help of the FIRE team here in trying to introduce the idea and raise the profile across the um, wider impact investment or, or investment community in general uh, beyond the summits themselves, that then um, interventions or ideas would, would have the potential or the opportunity to get uh, access to funding for their, uh, inter um, for their implementation. Okay, thanks very much, Padre. Uh If there are not any other questions at this stage, then I, uh, we, will, we will wrap this up. Obviously, if you have um, other questions that you want to, um, that occur to you after the end of the webinar, you can, of course, get in contact with us. Uh, just to reiterate, the close of the call for ideas is on the 31st of December. We really hope that you will consider submitting an idea and that you know, we can support you in, in this mission of scaling up climate finance. Thank you once again for your interest. Um, there will be, as Barbara said, a recording of this webinar up on the, the, um, the FIRE website and the CPR website over the next few days. So um, you, can, you can check it out on there and yeah. Let us know if we can be of any help. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.